Hello Gaskita here, today I will bring you the Galactus Ramp deck. As you all know, Shuri will get a nerf very soon on April the 18th. So this is going to be my go-to deck after the Shuri changes. Okay Galactus, if this is your only card here, destroy all other locations. This actually defies the laws of Marvel Snap. Yep, you destroy two, two other locations and you only keep one. So instead of winning two out of three lanes, you have to win just one location. Now before we get into the deck profile, don't forget to sub for free and stay tuned for more awesome Alpha Snap content and like this video if you like it. Now let's begin. Okay, obviously Galactus is our main card, but we have some other means of cheating it out early. The earlier you play Galactus, well, the better. First is obvious, Electro, on review, plus one max energy. But the thing is, you can only play one card a turn. So what you want to do is Electro on three, and then Galactus on turn five, which is going to give you a little more time to do and set up your stuff. Well, if you can Galactus early, you can set up stuff like, you know, deaths. After you destroy a ton of stuff, you need a turn to put down your death. So Electro is a very good candidate. The other card is going to be Wave. Next turn, cards in both players' hands cost 4. So if you Wave on 3, you can already put down Galactus on turn 4, which is sometimes very hard for your opponents to stop you. If they try to run stuff like a Cosmo to stop you, oops, then it may be impossible because you might have initiative and they cannot slap down the Cosmo early enough to stop your Galactus play. And that's going to be tragic for them. Okay, so let's say you wave 3, Galactus on 4, then yeah, you can set up stuff like your Iron Man on 5 or your Hobgoblin so they cannot put down enough power to contest your lane. And of course, that's always going to be the strong 0-12 death. Yep, this card is amazing, and it works so well in both Destroy Dax and with Galactus. And of course, we got America Chefs here. It's going to thin out your deck so you can draw into your Electro or Wave and Galactus a lot more consistently. Then of course, that's the Hulk. Yep, Hulk is just great power. If you want to, you could replace this with Magneto, but it doesn't really matter. But hey... Let's say, if you don't draw your Galactus, then Magneto is obviously better because it has the utility. But um, if you already got the Galactus down, then a Hulk is going to be good enough. Okay, let's talk quickly about the early game. You want to put down your Hood early, because it's going to get destroyed by Galactus anyway, right? And you want to hold your Demon in hand, and finally play it for... Uh little bit of power boost, which your opponents may forget, and that can sometimes clutch you the victory. Black Widow is here to, you know, clock up the lane. They have to play the Widow's Bite, otherwise they cannot draw cards. Yep, this card is amazing. And the thing is, Green Goblin and Hobgoblin are the stars of this deck. Yep, before you Galactus, you ought to put down either a green goblin or even a hobgoblin to mess up their lane. So let's say you don't draw into any of your ramp. Then you can just go for a hobgoblin on 5 and then Galactus on 6. That alone sometimes just wins you the game. That's how good the combos are with Galactus. Because your opponents will think, oh, I only need to win 2 out of 3 lanes. I don't even need to care about that hobgoblin lane. But then bam, you put down a Galactus and win the game instantly. There's nothing they can do about it if they do not expect your Galactus. But um, Galactus does have a very easy tell that it can only be played if it's your only card here. So you cannot have other cards in the location prior to playing Galactus. So, you know, it's pretty obvious where they're going to play their Galactus. But hey, without further ado, let's jump right into some games and see how good Galactus Ramp really is in the current meta. Okay, we got the hood already, so we got a demon in our hand. 
and we put down our Black Widow to mess up their draw. They drew one less card, and, well, they have to play Widow's Bite, right? So there's already one more card for us to destroy with Galactus. Yeah, the death should be zero cards, because we got our Dark Hawk already. Okay, it is a little bit troublesome because we don't have Electro nor Wave. The good thing is, Elysium is going to help us. Yep, with locations like Elysium, yep, this deck thrives. Just play your Darkhawk on 4, and then Galactus on 5, and on the final turn. You'll see what's gonna happen. Yep, this guy's gonna get absolutely crushed. I mean, yeah, they got cloning vets, which is pretty good uh, location, right? Especially for, you know, decks like them. They like to play a ton of cards. Yeah, the Bishop, Angela, Head Monkey. With cloning vets, they can really afford to play everything in the same lane without really getting punished because they can play an Angela and another Bishop in Baxter Building. Gosh. We fill up that lane with Doc Ock. And now, the magic begins. Galactus, I choose you. We're not going to slap down the demon just yet. Just so they are not going to expect us. Yep, the stakes are already at four cubes. Come on, win us eight cubes. Yep, Galactus destroying planets. Okay, a ton of stuff destroyed, and check out our death. <laughs> this death, it's just ridiculous. 12 power, but what's the cost? It's zero. So we death, demon, Iron Man. Okay, there lane seems to be very formidable two bishops one angela and a hit monkey yeah that's just crazy 29 power they're thinking okay yeah they cannot surpass that but hey we got death demon and the two power from galactus giving us 40. i mean you would like to think oh 29 is a ton of power they cannot beat that but hey never underestimate a galactus deck Yep, check out that power play we made. Zero cost death, a demon into Iron Man. 40 power in your face. And that's GG well played to our opponent. Now moving on to our next victim. Alright, I would like to stress that Green Goblin is actually an underrated card in here. Some people might say, oh remove Green Goblin and Hobgoblin. But actually, they are really, really nice. Okay, Green Goblin is just a minus three. But if you're only playing for one lane, then minus three and clogging up a spot in their location is actually so valuable. And now we can dark cock and not pull anything out. Yep, that's purely 16 power on the final turn. And I'd like to see them win against us. Come on, bring it. Even if they have a Shang-Chi, it doesn't matter. We still win. So, you know, Galactus with stuff like Green Goblin is just extremely nice. There's nothing they can do when you've already clocked up some of their lane. And um, sometimes you don't even have to play into an empty lane in their side. Like, it doesn't matter. The more the merrier. If you see they have a location with a ton of small stuff, then just go for that location. Because they cannot play multiple cards into there. Well, they can't really win against you if they don't have enough room to put down their options. Maybe they need to Shang-Chi plus stuff, maybe like a demon. Then they can win against you. But if they only have one spot, yeah, that makes those kind of plays impossible. Okay, their Green Goblin is actually very sneaky. If that Green Goblin from Sinister London actually copied itself in House Kitchen, then we cannot play Galactus anymore. 
So that was quite the cheeky play on their part. I honestly don't think they expect the Galactus here. If they were, they would totally have just played it in the house kitchen. Yep, Green Goblin into the Jessica Jones lane. And there we go, it's already filled. We can just Galactus, and next round on turn 6 is just gonna be an onslaught. Come on. Play more stuff. Come on, play more stuff for us to destroy with death. But hey, this opponent is actually very smart. They know, oh, okay, maybe a Galactus is coming. So they have chosen to retreat, which is obviously a very good play. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this deck. If you do, make sure to hit that like button real hard and sub to the channel for free for more awesome Marvel Snap content. Yep, Shuri is going to get a nerf very soon, and this will be my go-to deck. Yeah, Galactus is just so fun to play. I've had uh, viewers ask me, Oh, how do you feel about Galactus versus Thanos? Which one should I keep? Well, obviously, Galactus. I think Galactus is just way more fun to play. And uh, when you uh, are able to, you know, get off the combo, it, it's just so satisfying. I mean, the animation is just crazy. I mean, Thanos does not give you that. So... If you ask me, definitely Galactus over Thanos. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the meta now that Shuri will get a nerf. There should be a ton more stuff to be tried out. So don't forget to sub for free and stay tuned for more awesome Marvel Snap. Now have a great day guys, have a nice weekend, and peace out.